Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing swatches and a review for you guys on the Tarte Big Blush Book 2 and the Tarte Pretty Paint Box um, holiday set. And this is the set that is exclusive to Sephora. So, and I got this one from Tarte website. So I'm going to be doing swatches for you guys today as well as giving you my thoughts on both palettes and letting you know if it's worth spending your this one was $60 and this one was $58. So I'm just going to let you know if it's worth the money and I'm just going to show you swatches. And yeah, I'm just going to give you my thoughts on both of these palettes. So if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts on the Tarte Big Blush 2 and the pretty, the pretty paint box palette, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with the big blush book number two and I I changed my lighting because I felt like this lighting was the best lighting for you to see everything true to color like this was like the best lighting where you can see like everything like true to color so that's why I you know kept the lighting like this if it looks different that's why so we're gonna start with the um, Tarte big blush book number two and of course the outside of the packaging just looks like this and then on the back of the packaging, it just has Works of Tarte Holiday 2016. And it has a to and from card on the back where you can give it as a gift. All right, now inside of the packaging, this is how the Big Blush book looks. Now, my first impressions when I opened this book was I'm not going to be able to store this anywhere. So, I mean, I do think that it's really bulky and it's going to be hard to store. But, I mean, luckily the blushes do pop out. So, I'll probably just pop them out and put them in a Z palette. Because this, I mean, it, I, if I put it up, like if I try to store it somewhere, I probably won't ever reach for these. So, I think that it would be best for me to just, you know, pop them out and just put them in a Z palette where I can just grab them. So, I'm just going to show you the inside. And it comes with eight blushes. No, no, yes, eight blushes. And this is just how they look. And I'm going to start swatching them. Um, I already started swatching them on my hand. So I'm just going to show you. I swatched first um, Feisty then dreamy then I swatched perky and then I swatched thrilled so I skipped over the little highlighter and I just swatched these four so the first one that I swatched is feisty and that is the top one right here and that is just how it looks the second one is dreamy and that's dreamy and that is dreamy's swatch right there the third one is perky and that one is perky right there and that is perky's swatch and then the last one that I swatched is thrilled and this is thrilled and that is Thrills swatched right there on the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the next three and the highlighter. All right guys, next up, I swatched the last three and then the highlighter in the middle, or I mean, it's probably a blush, you can probably use it as a blush topper, but I will use it as a highlighter. So the first one that I swatched is Quirky, and that is just how Quirky looks. And the first swatch is Quirky. The next one that I swatched is Soulful, and that is this one right here. And that is Soulful.
And the last blush that I swatched is Lively. And that is Lively. It tends to be one of my favorite ones in the collection. And there it is right there. And then you have in the middle Breathless, which is very shimmery. So, you know, I took it to be a highlighter. And here is Breathless on the bottom. Like I said, I guess you can use it as a blush topper, but it looks like a highlighter to me. So those are the next, I mean, sorry, the last four shades. All right, guys, so we are done swatching the Big Blush Book number two. And my thoughts on this um, blush book, I really like all of the colors and the blushes, and they are super pigmented. Like, these are just like one swipe. Like, I swiped them across my hand, and they're not powdery, they're not chalky, and I feel like these colors will show up really pretty on deeper skin tones. So, I definitely feel like, you know, this palette is brown girl friendly. But as far, the only con that I have about this product is the packaging. Like, it's so big and bulky. But, I mean, another pro is, I'm, another pro is that you can pop them out. So, let me just try to pop. Alright, so I got it out. So, yeah. You can pop these out. And they just come with like the little magnets in the bottom. So, you'll probably have to get your own little magnet for the bottom but you can pop these out and put them in the Z palette so that's the only thing that you know th that's the only thing that's good about this packaging so I mean if you just like saving holiday packaging you can save it but you can also depot these for you know more room in your collection because you know you won't be able to store this the packaging is really pretty but it's just way too big and bulky so would I recommend the the Big Blush book? I would definitely recommend the Big Blush book because the shadows are, sorry, the blushes are so pigmented and they look very, very nice on deeper skin tones. Like, I was worried about some of the colors look, looking a little ashy, but as you can see, I, I almost thought when I first got it that, like, this one was a brown and I thought this one was a brown when I saw it online. But they actually show up as like mauve mauve this one shows up as like a mauve pink and this one shows up more like a dusty rose and they don't look ashy so they're really pretty so i would definitely recommend this book i'm not sure if tart will be coming back out with it i'm pretty sure they will but this book is 60 dollars, and i would definitely recommend it if you like their their amazonian clay blushes and I think that this is a really good deal because I think one of the blushes are, are like $27 or something like that. I'll have it linked in the description box down below. But you are definitely getting a nice deal because all of these blushes are the regular size. Like they're not small blushes. They are the actual size blushes. So I do think that you're getting a really good deal. And these blushes are really good, good quality. So next we're going to move on to the pretty paint yeah the pretty paint box and we're just gonna swatch this palette I'm just gonna let you know is it worth it all right guys so moving on to the pretty paint box and this is the set that is exclusive to Sephora so if you want this particular gift set then you would have to go to Sephora to pick it up so this is just the packaging and on the front it just shows you what the blush book look I said the blush book sorry what the pretty paint box looks like on the inside and now I'll just show you the packaging this is the packaging Tarte's holiday packaging is always very pretty I really like this and you have the gold trimming right here and it's like an actual little book and then you just open it up take the plastic off and you get your shadows on one side and your blushes and bronzers on the other side. So it's going to show you what the shadows look like. So I really, really like these colors. I think that they are, I think that they're brown girl friendly. This side is. This side, I, I don't know anything about this row. <laughs> but I think that the, this side. 
these rolls right here, the last three rolls, I definitely think that they're brown girl friendly. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch them and see if the pigmentation is nice, you know, if the palette is worth keeping. So I'm going to go by rows straight across and there's like four on each row. So the first row is glitter glue, nudes, bronze casting, and silhouette. So these are, this is the first row that I'm going to swatch for you. Alright, so I've swatched the first row and honestly, I am not too satisfied with the pigmentation of them and I don't know if you can see it. This is glitter glue and it swatches like it's so patchy. But the, and this is bronze casting and I mean you can barely see that like that's that's one swipe and you can barely see it and this one applies so patchy now the two matte shades apply really smoothly and they are really pigmented but yeah the shimmer shades or I mean I guess they're supposed to be shimmer shades they're not good at all so I'm just gonna get one more swipe with my finger and try to build on it so this is glitter glue I'm just gonna swatch it right on top of here and try to build it up. See, it's really patchy. Like, I, I don't know, it's just, it's applying so patchy, it's not smooth at all. So let me just try to build up bronze casting. And this is that one on my finger. They're really pretty on your finger. So let me try to build that. Yeah, and it's like the more you add to it, like it's like you're just wiping it away. So, I mean, you can't even see that. All you see is like little specks of silver glitter. You can't actually see the shadow. And in the packaging, this is a beautiful shadow, but you know, it doesn't show up. And this one swatches really patchy. So the two that swatches really smooth are the two matte shades, which is Silhouette, which is the black in the palette. And then this is a cream color and it's called Nudes. And those two swatched really good. All right, so next I'm going to, we're gonna get on with the second row. And it's called Water Lilies. This one is Water Lilies, Van, Van Go With It, Metal Work, and Charcoal Sketch. So I'm going to swatch this row for you guys, the second row, and we're going to see if it's any better than the first row. Alright guys, so here is the second row. This one is Water Lilies. Van Go With It, Metal Works, and Charcoal Sketch. As you can see, Metal Works, you can't even see that one. Like, it, it doesn't show up at all. And it's supposed to be metal. Like, this, when, when I hear Metal Works, I think, you know, a metallic, really pretty metallic foil shadow. This is not that. You can barely see it. Now, the other three on the row swatched beautifully it's like all of their mattes swatch really beautifully but the metallic shades and the shimmery shades the satin shades they're all a miss in this palette well the two rows that i've swatched so far so next up we are going to swatch the third row and this is pearl earring Um, fame worthy first impression and starry night so I'm going to swatch the third row for you guys alright guys so surprisingly this row swatched really good these are the shadows on that row and this one is pearl earrings and it's swatched really nice it's like a really pretty shimmery um, I'm sorry it's like a satin a shimmery satin kind of 
white gold white silver shadow and then the next one is fame worthy and it's a matte and you can see that looks so pretty on the skin like the mattes they blend out so pretty the next one is first impressions and this is just one swipe so that one is super pigmented first impressions so I don't know why the rest of them are like this in the palette but first impressions is really nice and this one is starry night and of course it's swatched really nice it's a matte also so that is the third row all right so I'm going to swatch the fourth row for you right here and it is fresco hearts and crafts self-portrait and and one two magnet so here is the fourth row this is the row I'm going to be swatching for you guys all right so here is the fourth row and these two matte shadows I had a really hard time building this up like even to get this little bitty pigmentation that I got I swatched this like three or four times and this is still how it turned out and this one is fresco the next one is hearts and crafts this one is a beautiful shadow and it's self-portrait and this is just one swatch of this shadow And then the last one is one two manet I think that is and it is just like a chocolate shadow with like a little bit of shimmer and it's, it's supposed to be a satin shadow it's, it's not matte so that is the fourth row and I gotta say so far I'm really not impressed with this palette I'm actually really disappointed in this palette because it doesn't I mean it doesn't swatch good the shadows aren't good quality but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the last two rows for you guys just so you can see how they swatch but you know yeah I'm just gonna swatch the fifth row <laughs> and the fifth row is porcelain dot porcelain dolly monochrome hot mama and stained glass so this is the row that I'm going to swatch for you right here the fifth row so I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you really quickly all right guys so here is the last row the first matte shade in the palette did not swatch really good it swatched really patchy and I had to swatch it three times in order for it to sh actually show up but this one is pastel the next one is I love it and this one swatched pretty good and it's kind of like a mauve shade the next one is got get surreal and this is just one swipe and this one is so pretty it swatched so pretty like I really like this shade and I really love the last shade also which is still life and it's like a really pretty plum color so these are the only two that really that swatched really good out of the palette. This one swatched okay, and the first one just didn't swatch well at all. So that is the shadow portion for this palette. And now I'm just going to swatch the, I guess the blushes and the bronzers for you guys and let you see how those look. Alright guys, so these are the swatches of the blushes and the bronzer, and I'll just go ahead and show them to you really fast. And this is the blush, and it's called Moments. This is the highlighter in the palette, and it's called Authentic. I think this is like a blush topper, or you can wear it as a blush, but it's super pigmented. It's the most pigmented one out of the entire bunch, and it's called Unique. And the bronzer in the palette is called Provocative. So here they are swatched on my hand. This is the blush. This is Moment. This is the highlighter in the palette. And it's authentic. 
This is the, I guess a blush topper, or I guess it can be a bronzer. And it's called Unique, but this one has shimmer in it. And Provocative doesn't, which is, I, I took to be the bronzer in the palette, but this one doesn't have shimmer in it. This one has glitter in it. So overall, I think that the bronzers and the blushes and the highlighter, they swatched the best in the palette. Like, they're super pigmented, but I mean, I wouldn't pay $48 just to get four sets of things and then the bronzers I can't even use I could probably only use them as transition colors so under this little tab you just get a Tartius mascara a so fine liner and a Tarte glossy a Tarte glossy lip paint And I will swatch that Tarte Glossy Lip Paint for you guys to show you how it looks. So this is how it looks. This is the sample size that you get in the palette. And this is called, oh, this is called Ovi, Ovi, O-B-V-I. And now I'm just gonna swatch it on the back of my hand a really pretty color so there it is right here that is the um, lip the glossy lip paint now I really do like the glossy lip paint but like I said for $58 I think these are like maybe 20 bucks you can just go and buy one of these and then they have the so fine and then they have the So Fine Tarte Liner. And it's just a really fine tip. You could probably get like a, a really precise line with this. And it looks like it looks like it dries down to a matte. I don't know. It kind of still looks shiny to me. It looks still it still looks shiny, but it's dry because it's not transferring. So that is the so fine liner in the kit, and then you have your Tartius mascara, and this is just how that looks. So this is the Tarte Holiday Collection, exclusive to Sephora. Now, if you want to go and swatch this for yourself, you can go into Sephora and swatch it for yourself. That way you can kind of make your own judgment as to whether you, you know, want to buy it or not. But as, but you know, if I were to repurchase this palette or if I was given a chance to, you know, say yay or nay, I would have to say nay. This palette is... The quality of the shadows are very poor. Now the matte shadows swatch so buttery. They are like, they are super pigmented, but you have a few, you have a few of your mattes that don't swatch really good. And these are some really pretty colors in this palette, but they swatch horribly. And I mean, if they swatch that horrible with a, with your finger, I can only imagine how much you would have to try to pack on your eyes with a brush. So let's just try to swatch one with a brush. I'm going to be using my Sedona Lace 941 and it is just a flat shader brush. So I'm just going to try to swatch one shimmery shade and one matte shade. So let's see. The matte shade that I'm going to swipe is the purple one that I like so much. Um, which is Steel Life, this one right here. And I'm just gonna swatch it with one side. And I'm just gonna swatch it for you right here. This one swatches really well. Like the mattes, they swatch really well. They are some really pretty shadows. So I'm just gonna clean my brush off. 
And now I'm going to swatch one of the shimmery shades. We'll just go ahead and swatch the first one. Okay. I'm going to swatch it right next to that. And you see? Nothing. Like this, it, it doesn't pick up any pigmentation. Like you can't see that at all. So, I mean, I honestly, I don't think that the palette is worth the $58. So, I mean, if you want to go into Sephora and swatch it for yourself, you can. The only pro that I have about this packaging is I, I really do like all of the bronzers and the blushes that came in the palette. And I really do like the glossy lip paint. But, I mean, it's not worth going out to buy the entire kit just for this little selection or just for that glossy lip paint when you can buy it separate. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on the Tarte pretty paint box you like I said go into Sephora and swatch it for yourself I mean don't just take my word for it you know like they do have it sitting out where you can swatch it and determine whether or not you want to buy it but I honestly don't think that is worth it so that wraps up my swatch video and my review on the Tarte Big Blush book number two which I would definitely recommend you get and this one is $60 and then you have the pretty paint box which is the Tarte um, holiday 2016 holiday gift set that is exclusive to Sephora I wouldn't pick this up I mean the quality is just poor like the quality of the shadows I mean it's not even worth it you're gonna be really upset so go into Sephora and swatch it for yourself and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this palette so I'll probably go ahead and do a video on the Too Faced um, palette as well today while I'm doing swatches and just maybe post these videos back to back, but I want to do them both in the same video. So that wraps up my review and my swatch video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. Until the next video.